Welcome Aquarius to your Singles December Love Reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we have the Nine of Rings, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Rings. What is going on? <laughs> All right, so I really don't feel like you may be putting in the effort because you had some type of an awakening within a connection. So something must have been revealed to you here. I do feel you're very abundant within yourself. Um, it does look like there may be other energies here, but with the Seven of Rings, it is showing that there is, you know, investing in a connection. Um, you know, spending your time and dedicating your time, putting time away or aside for to make to make time for somebody, nurturing. Okay. We have the lovers coming in, the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles. I would, okay. In the past, it looks like there's a new beginning that started here with an energy. But this person is coming up very loyal. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone you're, who's, act, who's being is coming off very reliable and that they are commitment type. I do feel like somebody is manifesting. Um, they are wanting to come in and work with you and build with you. And the reason why they're thinking of this is because they want to offer you, they want to speak to you about something. I don't know if they want to apologize or what. We do have the king and queen here. So... And the outcome shows some type of separation that may be occurring after an argument, some competition, big change within this love connection. And it could be, I'm feeling another energy that they could have been juggling behind your back or keeping uh, on the side. Now, maybe you guys weren't fully committed or had the title yet for some, but they're coming off as if they were only speaking to you or contacting you. And... You could have found something out or I don't know because it does seem some juggling going around and three of cups is third party and there is a big change here let's get this person's energy with the king of pentacles breakup cutting off an energy the three of swords is coming in that is arguments conflict and tension you're coming in with the lovers it's all about choices within love well you may be holding back from giving yourself to this person you could have blocked them not two of pentacles, king of cups. Oh, this person is feeling a bit deceit. See, they're feeling a bit defeated here with the five of swords energy. But they're also coming as Mr. Prince Charming, but also a player. But they use this type of charm, the king of cups, you see? Comforting, loving, believable. Manifesting, planning with the magician, a hangman. This person may have not surrendered something in the past and still planning things with you. They want to work on this connection, they want to apologize. They want to come in. They don't want to let this go. I feel like somebody may have got caught up with somebody else or two people. Or maybe this is an ex that this person had. Either way, this person feels that they, they didn't fully cut off an energy. This person wants to close out a cycle. 
They don't want to put any more effort into something else. And they want to have this new fresh beginning with you. They're not, and the reason why they're manifesting this disconnect is because they're wanting to put in the effort and wanting to come towards you now. It's a small gesture, but it's an emotional gesture. So it's usually like an apology or wanting to make amends. And the world is like, let's close out this chapter together and let's move forward. But from the looks of it, I don't see that coming in the near future or in the outcome because we do have the Four of Swords. So there is still a need to heal and recover. Oh, okay. So this could be you guys not wanting to put in the effort with this past energy. I feel like you guys are giving yourself time here to recover or to kind of balance yourself here with the Hierophant. See, I feel like you're getting a better understanding about this person and about yourself and what you want or, or this what's coming in is is aligning yourself right now and trying to get a better understanding before making any moves. Wow, you have the sun coming out in the outcome. This is the most happiest card. We also have the Ten of Cups. Somebody here could be stalking. Someone looks at you. Ugh, there's so much going on. This person is unsatisfied from the decisions that they made. They're feeling very bored. They're feeling unsatisfied with this breakup that happened between you guys. It's hard for them to go into a new direction. You're, they're still desiring for you or for this connection as they may be spying. Okay. But I feel like a tower may have already happened and you are here in the outcome going on a spiritual journey, I feel. And this is you knowing the secrets have already came out and the high priestess is you going silent. And this is you going for your Ten of Cups in the sun. So this, whatever's coming in here, it's you looking at brighter days ahead. And there's a lot of positivity coming in. And then the Ten of Cups is soulmate connection that's coming into your energy. It's happily ever after. And now there's something new coming into your life. Because you're very abundant and happy with this Ten of Cups and the outcome energy. This person wishes things could be different. I don't, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Do I still have a chance? See, uh, I, yeah. I want to start over. I need security. The timing just wasn't right for us. We don't share the same values. I do love you. This person is starting to realize how much you really mean to them and how this may be a very big mistake on their part. So let's go ahead and see what the untold message is on what they're not telling you here. Well, this does look like a twin flame situation. I feel like I ruined everything. I think the world of you. I find you incredibly attractive. I love you. Love you twice. Okay, let's see. Within a few months, guilt. We also have fear. Hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt, so I self-sabotage. You are always on my mind. Let's get some clarity from spirit. I'm telling you, the outcome is freaking beautiful. I don't know if it's with or without this person, but I do see and you're, what's coming up is that there is something closing. You are grounding yourself with the Hierophant. And again, the Hierophant is an energy of, of committing to oneself, having faith. Okay, and you're very spiritually wise. It's just 
a big awakening of some sort with you here. You will prevail. Wow, that came out right here, guys. You will prevail. Did I say that right? Release doubt. Yeah, don't doubt yourself. No, no, no. You're, you're really intuitive. Move right through fear because the only way to get burned is to stop because you're scared. What the heck? <laughs> oh my God, this is such a powerful reading. Look closely at your relationships and obligations. Make a commitment. Be conservative. I can't say that word. I always have a hard time saying that word. All right, let's see. One more. One more for Aquarius. Good fortune comes with change. Wow. You see, that's what it is. You guys have amazing things coming in for you that the universe is coming in after some hurtful times okay wow and we have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it only time will tell let's get one more acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we, mix, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yes, that's what the universe, the will of fortune is. You are divinely protected from any further harm. Okay, I'm going to pick one more card. I feel like I want to pick something here since we have the sun and the ten of cups chemistry. There could be somebody very, like someone new coming in to your energy. And the universe is saying that to trust, it is safe to trust in this situation. Whatever this happiness is coming in for you, it's divinely guided for you, okay? And it's bringing in a lot of joy and just feeling that excitement again with the sun energy. And it says someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and that is you, the Hierophant, okay? Wow. Wow. I'm going to leave it here for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon for your bonus readings. If you haven't checked them out already, you have your December and mid-December readings out. I will see you soon. God bless.